Once upon a time, there was a cruel monkey king who ruled in the Himalayas. All the monkeys in his band were his own wives and children. He was afraid that one of his sons might grow up and take over as king. So it was his policy to bite each son after he was born. This altered him so he would be too weak to ever challenge his father. I, and only I should be the king of this gang. One of the wives of the monkey king was pregnant. Just in case my unborn child is a son, I should protect him from my cruel husband. Oh God, I need to do something. So she decided to run away from there. She ran away to a forest in the distant mountains. Months passed. I feel bored staying alone, but I will bear this for the sake of my son. She soon gave birth to a bright little boy monkey. Both mother and the son spent their days happily and peacefully. Before long, the baby grew up to be big and strong. One day, he asked his mother. Mother, where's my father? I would like to see him. My son, he is the king of a band of monkeys living at the foot of a far-off mountain. That makes you a prince. Mom, please take me to my father. No, my son, I am afraid to do that. Your father bites all of his sons in order to weaken them for life. He is afraid that one of his sons will replace him as king. So please forget the idea of visiting your father. Don't be afraid for me, mother. I can take care of myself. I believe in you, my son. This gave her confidence. So she agreed and took him to his father. I can see two monkeys coming. That one. Ha! She is my wife. With her... He saw the strong young son and thought. I have no doubt that he is my son. When he grows stronger, he will steal my kingdom from me. Therefore, I must kill him while I still can. I will hug him, pretending it is out of love for him. But really, I will squeeze him to death. The king welcomed his son, saying, Ha! My long lost son! Where have you been all this time? I have missed you dearly. Why did you leave me my wife? Anyway, I am happy at least you have come now. Then he took his son in his arms and hugged him. He kept squeezing harder and harder, trying to squeeze the life out of him. But the Prince of Monkeys was as strong as an elephant. He hugged his father right back. He squeezed him tighter and tighter until he could feel the old king's rib bones starting to crack. After this terrible greeting, the Monkey King was even more terrified that one day his son would kill him. Then he thought, Nearby, there is a pond possessed by a water demon. It would be easy to get him to eat my son. Then my problems will be over. Oh, my dear son, now is the perfect time for you to come home. For I am old and I would like to hand over my band of monkeys to you. But I need flowers for the coronation ceremony. Go to the nearby pond and bring back two kinds of white water lilies, three kinds of blue water lilies, and five types of lotuses. The Prince of Monkeys said, 
Yes, my father. As you wish, I will go and get them. When he arrived at the pond, he saw that there were many kinds of water lilies and lotuses growing all over it. But instead of jumping right in and picking them, he investigated carefully. This must be a trap to kill me. I should be very careful. Let me first investigate the pond. He walked slowly along the bank. He noticed there were footprints going into the pond, but none coming out. After considering this for a while, he thought, This is a sure sign that the pond is possessed by a water demon. My father has clearly plotted a plan to kill me. I should prove myself. Let me to find a way to outsmart him. He investigated further until he found a narrow part of the pond. There, with great effort, he was able to jump from one side clear across to the other. In the middle of his jump, he reached down and picked flowers without actually getting into the water. Oops, this is really a difficult job, but I should take all the flowers. Then he jumped back again, picking more flowers. He continued jumping back and forth, collecting lots of flowers. Suddenly, there was a loud sound. The prince stood on the bank and watched. A water demon stuck his head up above the water and looked very surprised to see him. In all time I have lived here, I have never seen anyone, man or beast, as wise as this monkey. He has picked all the flowers he wanted without ever coming within the grasp of my power here in my kingdom of water. Slowly, the ferocious demon made a path for him through the water and came up onto the bank. My lord, king of monkeys, there are three qualities that make a person unbeatable by his enemies. It appears that you have all three, skill, courage and wisdom. You must be truly invincible. Tell me, mighty one, why have you collected all these flowers? My father wants to make me king in his band of monkeys. He sent me to gather these flowers for the coronation ceremony. You are the right person to be crowned king. You are too noble to be burdened by carrying these flowers. Let me carry them for you. The water demon picked up all the flowers and followed them. From a distance, the monkey king saw the water demon carrying the flowers and following the prince. He thought, I sent him to get flowers, thinking he would be eaten by the demon. But instead, he has made the water demon his servant. I am lost. The monkey king was afraid all his unwholesome deeds had caught up with him. He went into a sudden panic which caused his heart to break into seven pieces. This killed him on the spot. The monkey band voted to make the strong young prince the new king. Bless me, mother. May success be all yours. The moral is, it pays to be careful. The king and the queen swam happily. It just so happened that a curious monkey had been watching all this from a branch of a nearby tree. Peering between the green leaves, she had paid very close attention. When she had caught sight of the most precious pearl necklace, her eyes had nearly popped out of her head. beautiful necklace it's sparkling i will look more beautiful